Okay, congratulations GHD, this is your new car fleet. This is the MG ZS EV, and they're coming to you now. I'm gonna take you through a few aspects of this car so you can get to uh, know exactly what you're going to be using it for, how you're gonna operate the car, and what they look like. And I think half of the sign writing's gone onto them. They look pretty stunning, to be honest. So this is the MG ZS EV. It was the, well, it won the EV of the year last year. Uh, it outsold everything else um, other than Tesla. I think Tesla fans were a little bit upset by this. But hey, given the fact that it was the first SUV in the country, and it is uh, made by MG, it's got a range of around about 232 to 260 kilometers uh, from the battery. I think it's a stunning car. So enjoy these. I'll take you through a few aspects that you should know about. So first things first, um, just underneath but the, underneath here is where the plug-in play is, so you can actually plug the car in. I'll get the keys and we'll start with those first. So first things first, it's gonna come with two keys. And one of the things you should know about is it's actually uh, proximity or keyless entry. Basically by pushing this button here, you'll see the mirrors fold in. By pushing that again, the mirrors will fold out, which means the car's unlocked. So once it's unlocked, we'll have a look into the driver's side. They come with electric seats, so you'll see that pretty much straight away. Uh, fashion and styling, really nice actually. So this is a combination of uh, that some bigger brands are bringing together the MG product. In the back seat, let's have a quick look. Lots of space back in here. Oh, by the way, each car will be receiving a survival kit or a, 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 some gratitude from Tristram European for buying a car from us, but you'll find lots of things that'll come in handy inside this car. Um, not only do we have big seats at the back, now if you pull this little lever back here, the seats will fold down and it gives you additional room so if you want to say go out and buy something large or you're carrying around a few bit of equipment it's going to come in handy and then as you see in the sort of ceiling uh, there's a big panoramic roof now that particular piece there is the shade so there's a shade and then there's a glass roof I'll show you that in a minute right, as we start going around to the back of the car we'll see the see the logo saying EV because that's exactly what it is so this is where you're going to find the plug so the plug itself is going to be stationed back in here now you can use this at home so you can plug this in overnight um, and it will charge now only we get get to 80 percent charge over about a 12 hour period so you might want to use your fast charges or your other charges that are supplied at work because they're slightly stronger um, there is a triangle inside here just in case you're pulling over on the side of the road and then of course a run flat kit here so that's designed so just in case you because you, you, you don't have a spare tyre uh, spare wheel just in case this will come in handy so it'll inflate the tyre and get you to where you need to be next right plenty of space inside here and again I can actually take that down a level and get more space if I need it Currently, I'll just leave it up here. And of course, if I drop those back seats, you're gonna get plenty more room. So, let's keep going around the car. On the left-hand side, of course, plenty of space. We've seen that. Uh, left-hand side. Now, the passenger doesn't get an electric seat on this side. There's a little lever underneath here. And while we're looking underneath here, you'll see a plug-in charger 12 volt charger and then your USB chargers down there which you'll need those in the future so you can plug that in for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Also inside the glove box you'll find yourself a manual manual, uh, something to read if you require it. Now remember this comes with a 7 year warranty and 7 year roadside assist so in the event that something happens to you and you're out on the road there's a little number just on the side here, a 0508 number, call that number and someone will assist you and if you have to pick up the car, they'll uplift it for you. Right, so now the car, we need to figure out where we're going to charge this from. So by pushing the, the uh, badge in the front and lifting it up, you'll see underneath here is where you're going to plug in your charger. Now it's got both, one's for the fast charging kit and the other one is for your normal charger. All right. 
so um, utilize those. Uh, I've got a fleet of uh, electric taxis out there called Switch, which is a new brand that's come up from corporate camps and um, they're telling me there's charges all around Auckland where they can zip in 15 minutes on a charge and get an extra 50 k's. Um, so that's handy to know. All right, on the right hand side here, we've got obviously all of our uh, up and down for the windows. We've also got our left and right for the wind for the mirrors and then uh, to tilt the lights up and down. So I guess what we need to know now is how to operate this car. So first things first, uh, the seats are nice and comfortable and again, they're electric so I can move those around and um, be quite comfortable. So first things first, start here, start, stop. Now by doing that, the car starts to light up and everything that I require in the car, all the information I need is right in front of me. So um, the first thing it's identifying is, is, is someone in the seat, the car is ready to go and it's asking me to uh, say OK. Now in this case, I can just push OK and then the car will then go into motion. The next thing it does is it says normal mode. Now uh, there are modes, there's three modes in the car and I'll show you where the mode button is. So mode here, as I toggle up and down, I can see in the screen sport, normal or echo. Echo is going to give you your longest distance and on a full charge here we're saying 223 kilometers. Now if I go into um, normal mode it's saying 213 kilometers and then in sport mode 191. So that's very similar to a petrol or diesel car. In the past if you put more uh, put your foot down into it it's going to be less economical so in this case it's the same theory. Right now, you'll see a uh, P for park, and then a circle with a three in it. Well, that's your Curves Regeneration Program. So that means that this car can actually drive along and, and self-generate more power, or have you last a little bit longer with your battery power by generating whilst it's braking and while it's uh, driving around. For three, I kind of call it a, 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 a more aggressive mode. Uh, but I'll just go through them. So one is light, uh, two is moderate, and three is heavy. So instead of using braking in some cases, some people will use curves and they'll engine brake. So when I say engine brake, it's like engine braking, it's like changing down gears. So um, whilst it's in heavy, it's also charging more often and uh, continuing to charge. If I was freewheeling and going on a longer trip, I probably would not have it in three. You'll be able to monitor that as you travel anyway. Uh, so again, moderate, one for light, and then three for heavy. You'll find your spot. Around town, might, you might want to operate in, in uh, level three, and, um, and you'll get more charge, and maybe more distance. Now battery, so again, curves is down here next to modes, battery is right next to it. I want to see at a glance whilst I'm driving around uh, how much battery I've got left. So I know it says S down there, add P, and then our 3 to regeneration and S. That's the mode I'm in. And it, as I pull back that battery request, it's telling me I've got 191 Ks left. If I've changed that mode on there up to echo mode and I pull that trigger back, it's going to tell me that I've got 222 kilometers of range left in the car. Now on the right hand side just down here you will see uh, your battery life so similar to a petrol car you've got full and empty and then of course your power efficiency range so this is something that you'll use as you drive around I drive around one of these or something similar and ultimately at the end of the day it's interesting I will drive around and try and find the most efficient mode around and and the, and the speed in which I'm comfortable in um, and then of course on your left hand side is your speed this one here for your 12 volt battery that's your little one that sits in the background and that helps run all the other things that are inside this car so okay so now we've got the dash over and done with what I will show you is a couple of other features and those features can include cruise control and distance control between the car in front of me. So when you want to set your speed mode, it'll come up inside the dash and then you set it. 
Now I want to go a little bit more or a little bit less, I can turn that down. Now ACC target distance level, this is where I can actually move around and go OK. You can see those yellow bars are moving backwards and forwards. So that's the distance between the car in front of me. So if I set the car on cruise control, and let's say I'm doing uh, 70 kilometres, and I'm pulling up in behind a car that's doing 50 kilometres or 60 kilometres, what the car will do is identify something's in front of it, an object, and then will manage my speed so I don't bump into it. And that's the distance between the two cars. And ideally, it'll back off and we'll be monitoring its speed. And as it speeds up, we speed up, but it keeps us a safe distance between both vehicles. Right, another thing. On my right hand side here is uh, what I call a library. I call it a library because I can just scroll through and if you look in the dash there, you can see different things changing. So this is just really up to me on what I prefer to see while I'm driving along, uh, from distance control to, to speed warnings, up and down. Uh, I can make all those changes inside the dash. Worthwhile having a bit of a play because some people like to see the simple things like just the speed and what gear I'm in and then over a period of time they start to uh, reach out and start playing with other things. On my left hand side here we've got um, we have got our um, mute button, our, uh, we can change our channel for instance, so if I look into here I can change the channel if I like, I can turn the volume up from this area as also as well, um, and I can change the source if I want to, or even make a phone call. But again, as I said, you've got Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, the way for you to use that is to link through with the cord that's inside the gift box that we've, uh, we've provided you, and that will go through this hole and down into the USB just underneath here okay so that will set you up and then you're all good to go um last couple of things let's figure out how to drive the car so you've got a p for park right now if i put it into drive the car will go into drive and i'll be ready to go forward if i stick it into reverse what will happen is is the rear vision camera will pop up and as i turn the steering wheel you'll see it's a direction finder. So that'll give me the location of which my target is and which direction the car's gonna go. So reverse is R for reverse, N for neutral, and then D for drive. And then I'm gonna go forward. Right, um, as soon as I've finished doing my driving, I push P for park, everything goes into park, and I switch the car off. All right. I'll put it back on for now because there's a couple more things I just want to show you. Um, whilst, whilst I'm in here now, what I want to do is I'll just show you how to set up your phone. So I've pushed uh, for my phone and then I can go into this mode here. And what I do is I'm asking the Bluetooth to connect to my phone. It'll go searching. You'll be looking for MGBT 574E on this particular car. Uh, there'll be different ones on the other four vehicles that are there. Incidentally, they're showing us the time in the right hand corner and also the temperature outside. So now I've finished with that, I might just go back into my source or just hit the home button right here. Now I've got navigation if I want to use that. I've got information on the car if I want to use that also. So um, it'll go through and have a look inside the car. I want speed warnings on, I want this, I want that. I can make all those changes within uh, this category of the car, so your infotainment system. All right, factory settings, driving and maintenance, all of that, is, all that will come up for you. All right, it has got heated seats, so heated seats will be hot, or not um, that's pretty simple and then if I want to go into um, turn the fan up I can turn it up from down here and you'll see up on the screen there's a lot of little uh, features where I can direct all of that temperature I can add it as I start toggling through here I can put it on the window I can put it on the glass I can drop the heat um, I can operate it all from here pretty simple really okay all right, well, listen, I think we've got everything we need uh, to know about. Um, I just want to thank uh, Custom Fleet. Also want to thank uh, GHD for their business. Um, listen, we're located across uh, Auckland. If you need any help at all, my name's Darren Bird. Call me, I'm the fleet manager, or your fleet manager uh, at Tristram European. 
and in this particular case you'll be coming to collect your car from our location out here and dropping off your other one so i look forward to meeting you all uh, if you've got any questions in the meantime please contact me thanks very much i hope you enjoy your new car